here and trying some Japanese seaweed snacks. I love the sea. I love Japan. I love weed. <laughs> TV, but then it's like you do get it in sushi they wrap it in sushi and yeah. then i also when i went through my kind of semi-vegan phase there was like a seaweed that you put in the chilies to stop you farting the thing is i don't like the flavor of seaweed okay which is a problem if right. you're having food that's made Big. in the flavor of yeah. the seaweed yeah. i'm not a huge fan but i don't mind it i wouldn't seek it out i think i've enjoyed anything seaweedy that i've had yeah. before yeah i like it on sushi baby hello kitty hello kitty seaweed what is this oh it's hello kitty hello kitty this is the seaweed that you see in sushi restaurants yeah, yeah, yeah. like the type that's like i feel like i'm missing rice and fish it's hello kitty uh yamamoto noriten i know that well um i don't everything else is in Japanese. I have a friend and she was looking up Hello Kitty stuff for her kids. Yeah. And she was online with her kids and she typed in Miss Kitty accidentally and a whole other page came up that was not what it should have been. It's like old film stock. Like I've ever found like an old camera with old film in it and the film just like sort of perishes. It just falls apart. No, I've never been in that scenario, but that sounds like it could start to a movie. I'm familiar with Honey. What is Yuzu? What do you do? Not much, I tell you. Um, yuzu, I believe, is a kind of citrusy fruit akin to a lemon. Oh. So I think this is kind of like a lemon and honey kind of flavor. We're going to have to taste it eventually. We, have to taste it. we can't beat around the bush. Cheers. Mine's got a little floppy. There's a lot going on that. You get the taste of the sea. Yeah. We do the sea taste. It's got little bits. <laughs> it's got little bits in it. I don't know if I... Oh, no. Ugh. They're kind of like zigzags. It's like, it's sweet, it's salty, it's sour, it's sweet, it's salty, it's sour. I feel like it's not a snack. I feel like it needs to go with something. I can taste bits of uh, honey. I can taste bits of a fruity thing. What's really staying with me mm. is I'm tasting the sea. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm really tasting the sea. Do you like it? I don't hate it. You know when you clean out a fish tank and you have all the green stuff along the edge of the glass? It feels yeah. like I'm licking that. Do you see what I'm going with that? Like, do you get the picture? I do. Like, you know, for instead of like literally just before I started to put it in my bag. I can't get over how like communion wafer it is. Would the world be a better place if Christians made their Eucharistic host out of seaweed and everybody was farting a little less. We make you the new head of the seaweed church. No, that would go to my head so quickly, Jesus Christ. It'd be like, it would be a Netflix documentary within a year. This definitely tastes like what I imagine fish food tastes like. You've ruined fish tanks for me. Thank you, thank you. Which Bye. is a sentence I never thought I'd say. You've ruined fish tanks for me. <laughs> You've ruined fish tanks, Mom! I, I never really had any strong feelings on fish tanks before now, but you here did. we are. Thank you, Hello Kitty, with a little goldfish on the front. You have introduced us to your seaweed snacks, and uh, they are okay. <laughs> Oh, oh Christ. this one looks completely different. Yay! Uh, uh, Tokyo Premium. Ooh, now this sounds, Tokyo Premium sounds like the best weed you're ever gonna get. Hello Kitty oh. looks really different. <laughs> She's grown up. It looks like, you know, people roll joints and have the big, the bulb at the end of the name for it. Uh, a tulip. A tulip, I, I wouldn't know because I never smoked weed, but uh, Seamus here obviously. Has watched documentaries about Amsterdam. Yep. Spicy cod roll flavor. So, so it's fish eggs. So it's fish cum. <laughs> Remind me never to give you caviar. <laughs> caviar. Cod row. Maybe cod if it's caviar, I would say caviar. It's cod VR. Okay, so cod row. Okay. Spicy. Let's, right. let's it's go. It's the same texture as the last one. Wow. Oh, it's kind of, it's almost like spicy. Saltier. Very fishy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't spicy. <laughs> And Thomas died. It's not as bad. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Oh, you're pushing it there to quite yeah, nice. You're yeah, pushing, pushing it, it, baby. You're pushing it, my friend. I don't know. It's much fishier than anything else so far. Ooh, I think this is a lot better than the first one. This one's even better than the last one. I think it was nicer than the last one. Cod eggs really cover up the taste of the ocean. It's not as bad as the first one, but only if I think about prawn crackers when I'm eating it. Your mileage on this will depend on how much you like salty fish. Oh, I quite like it. It's incredibly salty. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. It feels like the flakes of fish food. That'd be a real flex for goldfish to eat a cod's baby. Oh yeah, it would. But a cod would eat a goldfish, I think. It would, given a chance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let's check this out. Oh yeah, so it's it's layered. Mine, mine is broken open and you can see all the little row eggs. This is a definite step up from the yuzu and honey. Very salty. Incredibly, but for all, all the for all the for, right reasons, all the better for it. No idea who we are. We have hidden their identities to protect their identity. Yeah, <laughs> it's surprisingly actually very nice. Mmm, it's still not great, but it's a step up from the last one. Blue, 
Hello, Kitty. Hi, Harry, getting on. So blue in my head, for some reason, I always just think plain salt flavor. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> She's ripped off her human face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Hello Kitty again. I know Nori means kitten. seaweed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how you jumped in with a guest there. And well, it was like it was, kitten. It was kind of the end of kitten. Hello Kitty Nori Chips Goma. I probably pronounced that badly. Apologies. Sesame flavored seaweed. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, sesame's nice. Yeah, yeah. Sesame yeah. is a good flavor, but is it strong enough to take away the flavor of the seaweed? Sesame flavor. You be my sesame boy. <laughs> sesame boy. So I like sesame. I like sesame snacks. I like sesame sticks. It's not a very strong flavor, but. Yeah. They do look like Eugene Levy's eyebrows. <laughs> hey, did you have to lick them? No, no. It's just sweat. My eyes are just naturally sticky. <laughs> Ooh, That's pretty good. I like that one. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm missing the sushi. Mm. Can't taste the sesame though. Just pure seaweed. I like that one, I think, because it's more subtle mm. than the previous two. It's kind of a weird, interesting taste, which is why I keep eating it. Um, I think the other one was better. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. I'm loving this. Yeah, it's grand. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not really getting sesame. I'm just getting... Tasty seaweed. I'm not getting a whole lot of it, of much. I think the Japanese are snacking for taste and for flavor. We don't snack, we just have a, an additional meal. Push the shame down. Yeah. Just push it down with more food. Oh, I can't believe the best part about this shoot is when we stuck the food to our face. <laughs> <laughs> Once we had to do anything that was not putting yeah. the food into our mouths, I was having a good time. This would be great as a pub snack. Oh, it'd be a very good pub snack. Right? Yeah. And also a pub snack in a pub by the sea. It is the only one where the texture is better than the flavor. I will finish it because I want to finish everything, but uh, I mm. want more like the last one. I'm eating gold! Okay, so we're back to Tokyo Premium. We've seen this one already. Yeah. Uh, I like the tins. I like the boxes. I like the little, the little chips. Yeah. The presentation is great. Wasabi goma. Oh. Oh, yes. Wow. I love what's happening. Now we're talking. With the spicy cod roll, we're like, oh yeah, it, it complements it well. Like the little bit of heat does well. The spice did very well, so. Yeah. Wasabi uh, could be a winner. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I'm not really a wasabi person myself. I always try to have a little bit of it with sushi and I just, it just doesn't do it for me. Okay, mm. I'm looking forward to this. I'm ready. Body I'm Christ. ready. Very dry. Mm. Wasabi takes a second. No, oh, there's a seaweed flavor. There is like, not getting any sense. The sneeze of the cow of a man who ate wasabi a week ago. That's the level of wasabi that's on this. There's a little bit of the flavor of wasabi. Tiny bit like this. But none, none of the kick. It's like a car trying to start. It's like you're turning it and it's like, mm. kicks into life. For a second, there was a bit of wasabi. The sneeze of a cow of a man. Yep, that's the level of connect. <laughs> The taste where, of wasabi where is getting. the cow coming in? Oh, it has him in the garden. <laughs> oh, so yeah. it's a sneeze of a cow belonging a to a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clear. It was well, sort of, nope. This is not wasabi, this is whoa, wimpy. Yeah, is there like double wasabi flavor? Or like actual mm. wasabi maybe? There's not nearly enough wasabi in this to save this seaweed. Yeah. Not I, nearly enough, like I pity the seaweed. Yeah, I could do it a bit more wasabi in there. Yeah. A little bit more wasabi, it'd be Bang. It's nicer than the, the last one. Yeah. But it's way more disappointing because I was expecting something and I didn't get it and I'm very entitled. When would you eat these? When you're starving and it's been like 50 days and you're about to die. I think you're trapped somewhere. This would hasten the process. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello Kitty again. Hentai? Oh, Genmai. Gen Hen hentai? <laughs> hentai, that's a whole other video. I've, I've watched enough dry videos <laughs> to know where this is going. How are we doing, Dermy? It's uh, what we got here, Colin? This is brown rice flavor. Oh, for fuck's sake, you... this is gonna be the most boring, Sean. What's the point to that? Brown rice doesn't really have much of a flavor yeah. at all. Y'all like brown rice? If I was to just create a flavor, I, I feel like brown rice would not be the first thing that I would go for. It would, Personally, it would also not be the last one I'd go for, <laughs> or any of the ones in between. Isn't the point of brown rice that it tastes crap, but you're eating it because it's better for you? Yeah. So why would you flavor something like that? I, th I think I think he's tricking us. No, it's genuine. It's flavors. Oh my fucking god! Have you ever seen anything brown rice flavored besides brown rice? Yeah. <laughs> And even then, brown rice doesn't want to be brown rice flavored. Yeah, we've had a great time so far. How can we? How can we be feeling negative about this? How can I protect you in a crazy world? Huh? That's it. It's all rice. Oh, yeah. 
Despite all my ragging. Pretty good. <laughs> that might be the nicest one. <laughs> no, 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 that's not going nuts. Okay, well, I that's actually... not nuts. Again, it's just kind of generic seaweed flavor. I'm not getting anything. Um, I can't say that I'm tasting brown rice. Oh, the saltiness of it. I don't know. I like salt. I like I, I like salt, things. but not like mouthfuls of seawater salt. If you have a slice of untoasted bread, yeah, and you have a slice of toasted bread, yeah, and neither of them have anything on them, yeah, this would be the toasted yeah. bread. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of toasted. I actually, I actually do quite like that. My expectations couldn't have been lower. Mm -hmm. It probably beats the wasabi in that regard because my expectations were actually kind of high for the wasabi. I'm sorry to make this all about wasabi now, but that's what yeah. we're doing. I couldn't imagine somebody deciding let's make this flavor something flavorless. Mm. They must have been really stuck for ideas. Yeah. <laughs> or best like. So far? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, best yeah, one so far. My yeah. favorite. My favorite. Um, I'd get the uh, spicy codro again. I'd get the honey and yuzu again. I think if I moved to Japan, I would just market like a wasabi, one of those that would absolutely crush if it was nice and tasted like wasabi. The seaweed flavor was too overpowering of all the other things that were meant yeah. to Yeah. So. Like the seaweed flavor, it's so strong. You need something equally as strong to battle it. What's Hulk versus Red Hulk. Exactly, exactly. You need something of an equal level. Yeah. The best for me might be the brown rice and the spicy roll. Not for the first time, I'm very happy to be weed on. Wow, yeah. In the sea as well. Hey everyone! Did you enjoy us weeing in the sea? Oh, I bet you did. If you'd like to see more of us being weed on, subscribe below, hit the notification bell over there. We put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Can't guarantee that, we, that we'll be weed on in every one of them, but definitely some of them. Is that okay? Seaweed. Seaweed. That, that's what I... Is that seaweed. not... Did I not say that? Seaweed.